Hey everybody, this is Birch. Um, Marvel Comics is announcing a new comic. Uh, the, the headline, the headline that this story is getting, is not the main headline, but that that's okay. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, Marvel Comics has a new five-part uh, limited series, again with a five-part limited series. Uh, we're just one step away from higher prices and four-part limited series. I, anyway, uh, a five-part limited series called the United States of Captain America. And in this comic, it's going to, uh, for, for whatever reason, uh, Steve Rogers, Bucky Barnes, Sam Wilson, and John Walker decide to go on a road trip across America. Well, they can't fly because of the COVID. So they're going on a road trip. And they are social distancing and stopping to meet uh, various people who have been inspired by Captain America. And these are basically people who are, are dressing up like Captain America. They're cosplayers and they are trying to fight crimes or, or do things in their own ways. So five issues, five new Captain Americas of ordinary people that are just trying to trying to make the world a better place. Um, I think this is a terribly stupid idea, but but <laughs> that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, here's you know the the crazy part. Uh, uh, before we get to the second part of the story, is that uh, you know I know that it on one hand it should be a good idea to kind of reflect the world outside your window and celebrate real life heroes. And Marvel's been very big about this lately, and I think Disney likes this idea as well. They, they've got a show for Disney Plus, like real life superheroes and everything else. But the thing is, um, is this the way to do it? I, I think that there are real life superheroes out there. I think there are people who devote their time and energy and do amazing things for others and, and uh, self-sacrifice and all the rest. But I don't think that you have to dress them up like Captain America in order to get that point across. That seems a little bit like the Hey, uh, you know, charitable actions and helping each other out. Uh, that's cool, but you're going to need to wear a Spider-Man mask in order to really have people believe you're a hero. Because otherwise you're just some schmuck who's, uh, you know, helping people. And then, you know, do you put this in a comic book and charge $3.99 for it? I, I just, it's like, I, I don't know. There's, there's a bunch of aspects about this that seem peculiar to me as a, as a comic. And as a retailer, I'd say that, you know, both publishers have done this kind of thing in the past. They never particularly sell well. And retailers, I would say, are cynical about this. And they're cynical not because of the gimmick, or but they're cynical about this isn't going to be a lot of sales. So it is Captain America's, what is, 80th anniversary uh, that we're doing here. So we want to uh, celebrate 80 years of Captain America by having him take a road trip and discover, uh, you know, people dressing up like Captain America and fighting for truth, justice, and and the American way in their own communities. So, all right, why not? Who are the, who are the people in the street who walk alone with problems they face every day and, and help? Will this be inspiring to them? I don't know. See, here's the thing. I, I hear people on in social media who will say things like, I'm so inspired, I'm crying, I bought this comic, and then I took it to the bus, and as I was riding the bus, I... I was so overwhelmed by the inspiration of this comic that I stood up and, you know, my my daughter who was next to me gave a speech to the entire bus and everybody applauded about how much this was an inspiration to all of us. But I don't know that people really, really, I don't know that, that any of that is real life. Um, do you get inspired in this way? It's, it's, it, I think you can get inspired by people doing heroic things, but can you get inspired by a a uh, fictional character that is meant to represent a real life character that you're paying four bucks for. Do, do, I mean, there's just there's a bunch of people removed here. I think I would have a different take if these comics were being delivered for free to schools and things. Uh, that would be maybe a good idea. But anyway, uh, this comic is written by uh, Christopher Catwell and uh, Josh Trujillo, art by uh, Dale Eglesham and Jen Bazaluda. Baz, Bazaluda. Um, so. This first issue, now we get to the second part of this article, and it is the one that uh, people are focusing on. They're focusing less on the, hey, it's uh, five new Captain Americas that, that uh, Steve Rogers and crew are going to meet on the road. Um, but we're getting to our first one, which is a uh, name of Aaron Fisher, who is the Captain America of the Railways, a fearless teen who stepped up to protect fellow runaways and the unhoused. I'm assuming that means the homeless. Um, and because it is Pride Month, uh, Andrew Aaron Fisher is a member of the uh, LGBTQ community. 
Um, I'm assuming he's gay, uh, which is fine. But by the way, as another thing, and I'm, I'm asking this question legitimately, why do they say, like when they describe him, they describe him, we're proud to honor this new LGBTQ plus hero, but he's not all of those things. He's one of those things. So, I mean, I get the overall umbrella that we're doing here, but he's not, he's not all of those things simultaneously. Um, but, but okay, I, that's just marketing there. So um, this is, uh, you know, a, a diverse lineup of all-star talent to, to do these shield bears. Um, Aaron looks like a teen kind of, he's got a hoodie and some overalls with the Captain America stuff painted on them. Uh, got some random tats, uh, up and down, uh, you know, just various parts in the arm. Um, uh, I, I wait, well, okay. Uh, Trujillo explains that, uh, he is inspired to, uh, create this hero of the queer community, um, that. Aaron, the character in the comic, is inspired by activist leaders and everyday folks pushing for a better life. He stands for the oppressed and the forgotten. I hope his debut story resonates with readers and helps inspire the next generation of heroes. Okay, cool. Um, Baz Luda, Baz, I, I, I really, Baz, Basel, Baselda, I'm going to say. Um, I, I went looking up the name and there couldn't find a pronunciation. So I apologize if I'm butchering this name. Um, I, I really mean that. Uh, I really enjoyed designing him as a transgender person. I'm happy to be able to present an openly gay person who admires Captain America and fights against evil to help those who are almost invisible to society. Again, I'm assuming they mean the homeless here. Um, is homeless a, a not a, a bad word now? I didn't think so, but we're calling them the uh, unhoused uh, in this uh, press release. Okay. Um, I thought, well, Cap fights against superpower beings and save the world almost always. Almost always? Pretty much always. But um, Aaron helps those who walk alone in the street with problems they face every day. I hope people like the end result. Cool. So this goes on sale June 2nd for Pride Month. Uh, this goes along with Marvel's Got the Pride Issue out. Uh, this th That goes along with DC has a Pride Issue out. Everybody's, uh, the big two are putting out lots of material for Pride Week. Still no mags uh, on any of these books, which is, is uh, uh, puzzling. I'll put it that way. Uh, the so so what about this? So now the headlines, of course, are you know Captain America will be gay in June. Um, of course, they're talking about this this one Captain America. And I I've asked this question before, and I'm going to keep asking it because I still have not gotten a satisfactory answer. Um, is what is this doing if you introduce a character in part one of a five part limited series? And he he appears for one issue, and then we move on to I don't know wherever is next on the stop, uh, West Virginia, and we meet the Captain America of farming. I, I don't know what's going to happen next. Um, but if you get this character, like, are, what what is the plan? Are, are we do we think we're going to like? Is there more appearances of this? Is are we hoping that it kind of catches on, and then we? We have more stories with Aaron here. Like, what? What is? Where? Where do we go from here? And if you remember the LGBTQ community, and I, I'm I'm mean this, um, do you? Does it help to have one issue of a limited series featuring this character, kind of come out and and they're inspired by him, and then we move on to issue number two, and we never see him again? Like, is that is that useful? Like. It, I'm, I'm not getting it. And I know this has been a point of disagreement I've had with others in the past, but I mean, if you're, if you're throwing this out there and it's, it's kind of an issue rolled out it to me, and maybe I'm just being too cynical. It feels like a marketing campaign. It feels like that they want to get some headlines, the headlines being, Hey, Captain America, we got a Captain America here who is gay and he helps the homeless. And so, uh, you should, you should, you should write some, come on Atlantic, write some articles about us. That's how it comes across because there's no intention to, to go anywhere further than this. That's that, that always like, I think if you're going to do this, you, you should commit, you should uh, try and kind of put something out. But if you every, if like once a year we get an anthology book and a handful of other things, I, I don't know what we're doing other than just, you know, it's like PR bait is what it feels like. But I, and and is this your best step forward? Is is the best like the the best way we're going to help the LGBT community out is by making a 
one-off character who dresses up like Captain America and helps homeless people. I mean, again, admirable. I hope people are helping the homeless out there. It's good that it, you are. If uh, if if you're if you're doing that, that's good. But where where do we go? I mean, this, this again, it's a comic to me. It feels like written for headlines, not for actual positive good. But I, I, maybe I'm wrong, and this comic will will help inspire people, and that'll be great. I I I hope it does. I'm just uh, I'm tired of so many books, uh, kind of that seem written for press releases. And does anyone follow up? Here's the key: Does anyone actually follow up on this stuff once it actually goes to the shop? Like, who at Marvel is like, hey, we produced this, we got some creators, you know, we got a, a, a transgender artist who's going to help work on this book. Um, let's make sure that we don't forget about this whole thing by the time June, June rolls around. That actually, you know, we're continuing to employ this, maybe this artist, the sketches on here look look really good. If that's this person's work, um, then cool, that person should get more work because the the sketches look good. So, you know, our, what's the next title this person's going to be on? What's the, the next thing we're going to do? Um, let's make sure that the shops know this is something that they should order and, and let's give them a boost by helping promote this. So people will come into the shops who may not have come into the shops before so they can kind of build up some business. Hey, let's get this into some schools or into libraries so people can see it. I mean, like, is there any of those plans or is it just, here's a comic look, we're celebrating pride. And, uh, we say all this stuff in March and then by June, everyone has forgotten about this. This is not me being cynical. This is what happens every year. And that's my point of view. So if you are from the LGBTQ community in particular, does it, does this, doesn't it, doesn't this irritate you? Not that this comic exists, but just this cycle of we, we put this out and we pat ourselves on the back and we're, oh man, we're so incredibly progressive here and we're helping out the community and then nothing. Like, does, doesn't that, does that irk you or do you care? That's, that's, if you're going to do this stuff, then commit. I, I don't think it's, it's wrong for you to do this stuff. I just think you got to land it. You can't just. Otherwise, it, it feels like a bunch of people just sitting around a conference room going, hey, how can we mark, how can we profit off of this, uh, this whole pride thing? That's, that's what it feels like to me, but I may be wrong. I am cool. We'll see the adventures of five new Captain Americas coming in June and from this limited series that I'm sure will be ordered well. Anyway, are you buying it? Are you into it? Do you understand? Uh, like, and subscribe. Let me know what, what, let me know what's going on here. And thanks for listening.